you seen Star Wars? <laughs> As the days pass by, it seems more and more likely that EA is working on Battlefront 3. The contract EA has with Star Wars runs out in 2023, which means that only EA can exclusively work on Star Wars games until 2023, so they have two more years, but that doesn't mean they will never make another Star Wars game. In fact, there's supposed to be more announcements later this year revealing more Star Wars games, and one of those games seemed to be Battlefront 3. Recently, the actors for Battlefront 2, the second one that came out by EA in 2017, had teased that they have returned to work on their characters. Not only that, insiders in the industry like Jeff Grubb have teased that EA will continue stories for games like Battlefront and Jedi Fallen Order, which is getting a sequel in 2022, and it's currently in development right now. So now that Battlefront 2 has reached new levels of fame and love by fans and gamers alike, it would seem like a great time for EA. They have this prime opportunity to redeem themselves with a third installment of the Battlefront series, and this time, do it right. Some speculations and alleged scoops say that this Battlefront 3 game will come out in 2023, I will personally admit, I don't see this to be very possible. It's not impossible, but it may not be probable. Battlefield 6 is what DICE is working on at the moment, and it's supposed to come out later this year in late 2021 or early 2022. So I think if even Battlefront 3 released in December of 2023, it would be a short development time, even if they started working on it, let's say in 2020 or this year, 2021. And look, I'm one of the people who did not enjoy either of the Battlefront games by EA. First one was an embarrassment with its lack of content. There wasn't even a campaign, yet it was $60. The second one was a mild improvement because we actually got three different eras in a single player campaign. But the campaign was also a waste of time and not even close to satisfying. There was that big marketing scheme of this is going to be in the Empire. You're going to play as the Empire. Then about two missions later, you go back to the classic. You're the hero and you're on the Republic side. And the gameplay for Battlefront bores me. About after an hour of it, I'm pretty much bored, and it's just the same thing over and over again, just wave after wave of the same stuff. So personally, I think if there's going to be a Battlefront 3, it has to revamp the entire game mechanics of the Battlefront games. This needs to be a huge game with multiple things to do. I'm talking about more planets, more heroes and villains. Why the hell is BB-8 a playable character, but Mace Windu isn't? I want galactic conquest, I want instant action, Round the space battles is a must for me. I know I'm being a little bit of a hard person for that, a little bit stubborn, but it's embarrassing that the original Battlefront 3 that was originally in development by Free Radical way back when can do that, can go from ground to space instantly, but neither of the new ones even try it. Also, new modes, this long, drawn-out, one-hour fight to capture command posts to push the enemy back to their ships and then take them out on their ships gets really old really fast, and it seems like it's the same five maps over and over again. I am glad to see that Battlefront 2 has added a lot more content since its release. With that said though, when I buy a game, at least 90% of the content in that game should be at launch, not three years later. So if Battlefront 3 happens, they need to do something impressive. They need to double the content of the second one because there is a great opportunity to make a perfect Battlefront game and they have yet to do it. I'm also curious on what the campaign will be about for Battlefront 3, if there is one. If anything, it seems more likely to take place during the sequel trilogy, dealing with the first or maybe even the final order, and probably taking them down as well. But truth be told, I thought the campaign from 2017's Battlefront was kind of shit, so I'm not exactly excited to continue that story. None of the characters really interest me. I would really prefer to play a story told through multiple eras like we had with the 2005 Battlefront version. Starting off with the Clone Wars, work our way into the original trilogy. Hell, we could even add in some Bad Batch missions. I think a lot of people would be happy with that. Play a Stormtrooper or a New Republic Ranger during the timeline of The Mandalorian between Episode 6 and 7. Then we go into the sequel trilogy. That would make the campaign longer than the second one by far, and it would please a lot of fans because there are fans for each different film and each different era. In the end, it seems like EA's best option is to actually focus on a Battlefront 3 and make that a priority going forward. But truth be told, I would not be surprised if we got this game in 2023 around November. And the reason why I say that is because the next Star Wars movie, Rogue Squadron, comes out in 2023 in December, and the last two Battlefront games came out before a Star Wars movie. Even Jedi Fallen Order came out when The Mandalorian and Rise of Skywalker were releasing, 
And it seems to be a good and working marketing tactic that they've gone for for every major Star Wars film that's come out. 2015, we have the first Battlefront. 2017, right before The Last Jedi, we had the second Battlefront. 2019, before Rise of Skywalker, we had Jedi Fallen Order. So before 2023's uh, Rogue Squadron movie, wouldn't surprise me if we got Battlefront 3 or something along those lines. But it also makes me concerned if we're getting it in that short time frame that we're just going to copy and paste the last Battlefront with a few changes and we call it a day. If EA wants to turn Battlefront into the next Call of Duty or even Battlefield, then by all means, go ahead and do it. But make it like the good Call of Duty in Battlefield games. Make it like Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 1, 2, or maybe 3 if you like that. Or Battlefield 4, 3 and Bad Company was pretty great too. Do it like that. Don't do this new stuff where you're putting out a new Battlefront or a new Call of Duty, new Battlefield every single year because then you're milking the property and Star Wars is a great property and Battlefront is probably the best, if not one of the best games you could have for it and they haven't really hit the mark at all. Because right now the new Battlefronts have been disappointing. But maybe the old saying will ring true and that the third time is the charm. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you want a Battlefront 3 and when should we see it? Do you think 2023 is a little too soon? Maybe a little late on your thoughts? I don't know. What changes would you like to see in a Battlefront 3 as well? Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like or comment because it does help out the channel. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the latest news in Star Wars. I am Star Wars Only. I will see you all next time and may the Force be with you always. Thank <laughs> you.